everyone, it's Cathy here from Del Bellows Designs and today I'm going to be making a woodland walk card using some of the cardio stamps. They are great stamps for scene building and I thought I'd make a nice uh, scene with a couple walking their dog and some rabbits and a little fox and uh, I'll show you how I made it. I also used the torn kitchen paper effect to get the cloudy sky so I'll show you how I did that in a moment. Right, for this project you will need piece of multifarious card cut six inches by four inches, some matting card of your choice, uh, 6.25 by 4.25 inches. I chose brown purely because there's quite a bit of brown in my scene, but you can choose any colour you would like. And then I will stick that onto a piece of card once folded, measures five inches by seven inches. So the stamps I'm using are the Cardio Field Day and I'm using the small pair of rabbits, the small rabbit up there, the little fox on the gate and a couple of the little mice and I'm using Peaceful Panorama and I'm going to be using the top two and the one with the berries on and the leaf one and the tree one and on the water sidewalks I'm going to use a couple with the dog and one of the fields of grass on the bottom. For the stamping I'm going to be using Vesifying Claire Nocturne, Fallen Leaves and Rainforest and for the blending and the backgrounds I'm going to be using Element Inks and I'm going to be using Bermuda, Lime Punch, Henna and Blue Lagoon. I have some acrylic blocks for stamping and I also have one of these I'm going to try today for the first time which is uh, for the very small stamps from cardio for stamping so I shall have a go with that. I've got some uh, blending brushes in green, brown and blue. I have a little smoothie that I'm going to be using to, to ground some of my people and I have a black pencil in case I need it and a pink and a yellow and a blue Posca pen and some kitchen paper and with the kitchen paper I've just torn it and when I tear it I try to get something dark behind so you can see a bit better when I tear it, I try to tear it so that it's not straight, so it's going up and down, like so, for the clouds. Okay, so I'm going to start by using some of the torn paper. I'm going to use, to take a bit more of that one, I think. There we go. And then I put some of the Blue Lagoon on. If it's a new one, I would dab it off but this isn't a new one so I'm just going to use it as it is and then I just move the kitchen paper start most of it is on the kitchen paper and then I just do it onto the page and you can see the, the little jagged I'll move this closer in a moment so you can have a look and I move the paper around so it's not the same piece repeated or if it's the same piece just turned in a different angle Now, if I lift this up a bit closer, you may be able to see it's quite faint over here. quite a long way down but I'm going to cover some of that with the brown when I come to do the stamping. I'm just doing some areas a little bit darker than others. I want to leave some a little bit exposed so it looks like clouds. Okay. Next 
next I'm going to use the line punch. I'm just going to do the bottom. I will take some of this off because this is actually quite dark. It's quite a new one. I want to leave a little bit lighter on a patch. And so that's all the background. Now I'm going to start stamping. So I'm going to start with this one. Join those up a bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's give that a little clean. And then I'm going to add my couple walking their dog. some scents for the fox. I think it's a gate for the fox and some flowers. And a baby fox on the top of the gate. Let's put this one here. Perfect. And we're going to do some, some of the backgrounds. I'm going to the background's in brown, I think. So I've got some ink on my fingers. Let me just get that off before I put it on that page. <coughs> Do this one first, which will be that there. just going across half of it where the bushes are not the fence and I'll just add the bushes to there. There we go. I'm going to use <coughs> the Bermuda <coughs> for some stamping. To do, I'm doing this in order to create a bit of a second generation. So this will be behind the 
the darker grass. Oops. So you can't see it very well at the moment. If I lift it up, you might be able to see it a bit better. And then I'm going to stamp over it in green. Which is the rainforest green. And this one will be the first generation at the front. Of the grass there and then the little mice and the second mouse coming to see what's going on of this one just in front Do some of the some of the foliage around the outskirts. I'm going to use a rainforest again for this one. And then we'll have one that's got a bit of blossom. On the other side, I'll go back to using brown. So now I'm going to just put some blossom on the on the tree and colour in the berries and colour some berries in on the other side. I'm going to give the Posca pen a good shake. fairly central 
And there we have it. <clears throat> Quite a straightforward card. I've noticed here that I've got some blue above the um, above the field. So if you if you happen to get the same and you, you're not very happy with it, you can just I'm gonna add bushes. I think I'm gonna cut the fence off and just do bushes. And put it there. There we go. Now have an extra field. <laughs> so it's slightly darker than the first one I did, but I'm not sure. I quite like them both. I think the darker one just has the edge for me. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that and found that useful. And before you go, if you haven't already joined our Facebook groups, please consider joining our two Facebook groups. We have Del Bellos Designs Lounge for all products that are Lavinia, and we also have the Del Bell Del Bell's a la carte lounge and that's for all the other products like the cardio stamps sweet poppy stamps etc so thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye